Hi everyone, in this video today I will be showing you the Hedis AP80 with the LDAC Bluetooth codec which uh, just got added um, via a firmware update to the um, operating system of the Hedis AP80 which is based on Hebe OS, the same that uses the Hebe R3 I have on my left. Um, so um, it received a couple of days ago uh, an update that adds the LDAC codec which is Sony's audio codec and it allows high resolution audio codec to be um, received uh, and transmitted from the um, IP80 and here on my left I have the Hebe R3 which is another uh, digital audio player and what I'm going to show you today is how uh, it works on the IP80 that I have on my right uh, I'm sorry the screen is turning off um, that's because I have the setting that um, turns off the screen after a certain amount of seconds so um, other than that, um, um, let's proceed with this. Okay, so I already have paired my Hebe AP80 to the um, Hebe R3. Um, however, to enable the AP80 as a Bluetooth decoder, a Bluetooth receiver, we have to connect it to. We have to connect it using our source. So our, our source is going to be the uh, the Hebe Hebe R3 that I have on my left. Um, I don't know if it says heavy or heavy or no. Anyway, um, so I'm going to Bluetooth over here, Bluetooth, and I'm going to turn it on. And next thing I'm going to do, oops, it already connected automatically. But um, if it hasn't done that, you can just simply go to, uh, oops, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to connect to the, yeah, there you go. I just select the Hades IP80 and it will connect. And once it connects, the heavy, the Hades. AP80 will turn automatically into a Bluetooth receiver. So having said that, you can see it says LDAC over here. Sometimes it will say SBC, it depends. But right now it says LDAC. So that's a good sign. Um, I log in into Tidal over here in my Hebe R3. And if I go to my albums and I'm going to play a standard album here. Um, this is a standard album, which means it's it will um, decode a flag file, 44.1 uh, kilohertz um, audio, it's a standard um, audio file. Uh, so if I play it, you'll see that the um, LDAC over here, it's, it's transmitting and it's receiving at an 44.1 kilohertz audio, which is pretty good, um, which means that it's working. And of course, if, if I connect my headphones, and it will work. So uh, you can also confirm that the R3 is sending LDAC audio because it says that over the top it has the LDAC order and it also says that it's playing back to Bluetooth. That's uh, very nice. All right. Um, you may know that the Hebe R3 got MQA um, decode support. That means that uh, for some album, albums in Tidal it works, uh, for others it doesn't. Um, it's something that is being investigated by Hebe right now. Um, but other than that, I found some albums that work in MQA and because the LDAC codec is a high resolution codec, it can, it, it can support audio up to 96 kilohertz of audio. So um, this is an excellent example of why having LDAC is important in, uh, in both a, as a transmitter and in the receiver part, um, decoding, decoder. So if I play this track, you can see it says MQA Studio over here. That means it's decoding um, the MQA audio, and you can see the Hebe Hedis IP80, as the company sounds so similar that you get confused sometimes. The Hedis IP80 is decoding it as LDAC 88.2 kHz audio, which is excellent. That means that the Hebe R3 is performing the decoding and transmitting the audio as 88.2 kHz to our Hedis IP80, and that's basically it. Um, you can go to the website of, of Hedis and uh, let me turn off Bluetooth in my R3 because otherwise it doesn't let me get out of there. So let me actually I could just have done this. Okay, there we go. I have disabled um, Bluetooth in my Hebe R3. If I go to the about section of my Hedis API, you can see I have the firmware 1.0.1 .1 beta version. That's the firmware that enables LDAC. Now, uh, a difference between the AP80 and the Hebe R3 is that it doesn't allow me to select the codec to use for transmitting, so I haven't tested that yet, but 
um, other than that it works um, you just have the high quality mode over here and if we see that uh, Bluetooth settings page in the HBR3 um, let me select it and if I go to Bluetooth turn it on again you can see that it actually allows me to select a quality uh, mode over here and I have selected that quality priority that's uh, why the Hebe, Hebe's API um, chose LDAC. Um, so yeah, that's a difference. Uh, other than that, it works, um, and it's really nice. Um, the um, the DAC in the API sounds really nice. Um, so Hebe's done a pretty good job on the the coding side over here. Of course, the Hebe R3 sounds really great. Um, and my main difference is that the Hebe R3 sounds more musical and the AP80 sounds like a little more um, I would I say, I don't know how to say it, but um, yeah, anyway they both produce a really awesome sound and they are based on the same OS, which is Hebe OS made by Hebe, of course, and you can see it's pretty much identical in almost everything so yeah, that's basically it that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please like this video, comment on it share it with your friends and Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.